guys, it's Mary Queen and Mel V. Talk to me Tuesday on December 15th, 2020. And I um, I just noticed I'm wearing a, an elf hat. Um, <coughs> I made this in bed this week. Um, I got bored with my TV and my video games and my, um, not video game, but... Um, Puzzle game. I, I do Mahjong on um, my Kindle. And I got bored with my um, audiobook and I um, decided I needed to keep my hands busy. So I saw this Jennifer O um, made one of these, a couple of these. I thought it was so cute. And so I did get the pattern. It is by Prim Posada. And um, I bet you could find her. Or you could look at the link that Jim gave us. Um, anyway, I made this. It's got a green pom pom. It's really cute. And then I, um, my only problem with it, it was it didn't entertain me more than about two days. I, I spent a day mostly sleeping and did this each time I woke up. And then I spent the next day sleeping over half the time. And, um, and finished it and then the next day I was back to my initial problem so I started a new one and here's how that one's going it's going to have a white rim and a white pom-pom so these are just fun they're easy um, they once you once you get up to the proper um, number of stitches per row it's an it's a multiple of 10 and so I can count to 10 and still take a nap or watch TV or daydream or whatever I'm doing trying to figure out figure out things um, so I like multiples of 10 because you just keep going and if, if you you always have time to get 10 stitches in and until you get there from from the pointy end up to where you get up to the entire width, um, the stitches are so easy to count, so um, you can't lose track. So anyway, um, <clears throat> loving these, and uh, thank you Jen for introducing me to this and to Pren for designing this just fun pattern. Um, speaking of Jeno, I uh, got a package from her today, not today, but this week, and, you know, she's just the sweetest thing, and she really, Junior really, really made me feel better. Um, I got colored pencils, which was good because I didn't feel like getting up to find mine. Um, I'm about to fall out the bottom if I show them to you, so let's fix that. Bear with me. Okay, got my colored pencils, my time travel book, which is great because look at all the places I can time travel to. These are wonderful. Um, and um, some tea. I had one. It was delicious. I'm I'm pacing myself on the other two. And um, <clears throat> what a great gift. And then nothing says love like a succulent, right? Look at Sally. She's the cutest succulent. I mean, I could go to bed for days and not kill this thing. So um, it, it is kind of the perfect gift and uh, just so cute. So thank you, Jen. Um, other than that, I didn't get much done just because I haven't been up. I've, I've just been in bed and um, I made one more monarch block which is progress and um, I made now those require a little bit of attention not because they're complicated they're very easy really but um, because they're um, not because they're difficult but they are complicated so you have to kind of pay attention and there are lots of blocks, and I'm on the part of the butterfly that has just lots and lots of pieces. 
you know, when you have 150, 175 pieces within a small block like this, and I think they're 8 by 10 finished, um, it just, you don't want to, you don't want to start making mistakes on that because when you do, um, you're going to have to, if you do, you're going to have to um, rip out tiny pieces and then the paper gets um, <clears throat> compromised and um, anyway, I, I, I focus on that. So I made one and that's progress, like I said. So, um, but I did naturally start a new project because <clears throat> that's what I do. Um, this is a, that's a candle flame, of course. Um, I made my candle flames from, I, I did cut them on my vacuum cutter, which is back here. Um, unfortunately, my eating table here is the only place big enough to, to, and sturdy enough to, my cutter's big and it's heavy, and so it's kind of taken over here, and um, I've got to do something about that. Anyway, this, these are, of course, two different fabrics and um, two different cuts from my um, AccuCut, and it's on, um, I don't know what you call this paper anymore. I always know. I just, I'm sorry, I, I can't. I can't think well today, but um, these are two from two different dyes from two different feathers, um, but I like how they go together. And this is something I came up with because I didn't want to um, use the applique that came with the pattern. It was I didn't want to hand cut it. Was the problem? Um, there are two. 28 of these candles. Obviously, this is where I'm going to a candle. The 28 of them because I'm making two. So each one has 14 of these. So I do have 28 of these, and then they're getting ironed onto a candle on a stand in a block. And 14 of these go into the shape of a Christmas tree, and the other 14 go on the other one. Um, and the blue <clears throat> these strips in the inside the tree are green to make the tree. And then on the edge there, like the bottom would be green and the top would be blue, and then the background's going to be blue. So this is actually, an, um, and I have 28 of these blocks finished. I just haven't finished sewing the flames on all of them. So that's the step I'm on. And then I need the blue for the background. This is an electric quilt pattern. If you have EQ, it's a free pattern, and I mean, you can, anybody can go to the website and download it. It's called, um, it's called Pine Trees. It's not called Pine Trees. It's called something with pine. Anyway, it is the November, it's in the November blog. And um, it's free to anybody, however, it's in an electric quilt format. So you're not going to, you can download it, you're not going to be able to open it if you don't have some sort of EQ um, product. So I'm going to show you a picture of the finished one here first. And then here's a picture of what I have done so far, and it's just these blocks. Now, it gets interesting above the tree, as you saw in the pattern. Um, I'll do that, and then the, the um, stalk of the tree. On the tree, I don't think it's called a... I can't, I can't find words today. Anyway, there's... 
the bottom of the tree, which I don't think is a stock because I think that's on flowers and leaves. Anyway, trunk, the trunk. Um, I will do those next and then finish up. And, and don't worry about the borders because my borders are fluid. They're going to be the width and the fabric I have. So um, anyway, here's what I have so far in the um, tree. And so I've done 28 blocks. You're going to see a picture of 14 because they're stacked. Each, each one has one hiding behind it because that's what Christmas trees do. So I'll show you that. And that's um, all I've gotten done this week. I um, I was very fortunate that before I left my office, I got my um, holiday star package put together for my seven-year-old girl that I drew for Christmas. Um, she was a dream come true. This is a this is a program run through our through our um, bar association locally. They've been doing it for lots of years, and my company got fifty stars, and I took one of them. And this is the first year that I've participated that I haven't had to buy a bike. This girl asked for arts and crafts. And then this year they wanted us to include a book. So she, you know what she got? Enough arts and crafts projects to keep her busy for a year and books on arts and crafts on a level that she can read. So um, lots of pictures that she can grow into. So anyway, um, I had that all purchased and bagged up, wrapped in everything so that when the deadline passed this week, my... Um, one of my secretaries was able to um, turn that in for me. And so I was really glad that I didn't need to stress over that while home. Anyway, um, status on me, I have a um, virtual um, or a telemed conference with my doctor today. And I'm going to ask him <clears throat> if I can go back to work or when I can go back to work. I am still having to sleep sitting up because I am still coughing so much at night that I can't sleep. And um, and I don't, you know, I really shouldn't need any more sleep, but apparently my body needs to sleep a lot right now. So um, anyway, we'll, we'll see how that goes. I think I am... Um, I'm clearly not ready to be in the office right now, but pretty soon, maybe tomorrow, we'll see. Um, we'll see what my doctor says. I, I completely trust him. He's, he's great. Um, that's all I got, all I'm doing. And um, I also <clears throat> downloaded a um, beautiful Christmas background so that on my videos, you would see me sitting in this house that's decorated for Christmas tree in the corner and the whole bit. And um, <laughs> I have the technology, but I need to find a tutorial to figure out how to do. I, I know basically how to do a green screen, um, but I've not done it, and I um, was kind of excited about doing that today for you guys and um, just didn't because there's thinking involved and I wasn't up to learning something new today. And so anyway, that's that's me. That's my week. I, um, I, I did leave the house this week. Last week I left the house to get tested and never left my car. And this week I left the house and left my car once I got gas and I wore gloves so I wouldn't contaminate the pump and then used my card and um, didn't see anybody, didn't get near anybody, didn't talk to anybody, but it was nice to, um, and I drove around a little bit, found a new restaurant I'm interested in called Teetery, T-E-A-T, 
It's eatery with a tea on the beginning of it, and it's a tea and tapioca restaurant. Two of my favorite things. Um, a local Vietnamese man started it, and I'm, I was telling my brother about it. We're going to check out the teetery when things are better. Um, so that was that was worth the trip. So anyway, getting out and, and uh, at least seeing fresh air was, was um, pretty exciting. That was earlier this week. That was um, Tuesday when I was feeling better. And no, Wednesday I was feeling better. Tuesday I didn't. Wednesday I felt better. By Thursday, <laughs> bad. And I doubt it was a 15 minute car ride that did that. So anyway, um, still have no energy, no stamina, no uh, desire to do anything but um, kind of bored to tears. So I am going to do some coloring today when I finish this hat. And I'm really looking forward to that, see where I can go on my time travels. So, anyway, guys, um, have a good week. <laughs>